um, is about juggling languages. You know, uh, what takes priority? How do we do it? Um, you know, he's getting into learning more languages now, and, mm -hmm. and he wants to know how you manage that. Mm -hmm. It's quite a big topic. It's one that we we talk about in the polyglot workshops. In mm -hmm. fact, it's yeah. it's a it's, it's a, a huge it's a huge topic. Topic. <laughs> question. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, a lot of these are, but yeah. where we're just skimming through at the moment. But um, I mean, how do you guys manage it? Uh, honesty, very important. Yeah, being like one hundred percent honest with with yourself, and always acknowledging that we all have limited hours, mm -hmm. and we all have unfortunately yeah, limited time on Earth, mm -hmm. and we also have to have a social life, and there are so many other things that are, that are mm -hmm. also important. So, when choosing language and when juggling languages, uh, like Alex was was saying in in the interview that you did with Easy German, yeah, mm -hmm. it's uh, I think it's a great idea to have, to actually have a written list and to list uh, at least uh, ten reasons you were saying yeah, absolutely why yeah. you you are learning language and mm -hmm. if you have less than ten, then uh, then yeah, but, yeah. Well, like I said before, yeah, it's uh, stop yeah. kidding yourself. Yeah. As uh, yeah. as cheesy as it, it might sound, yeah. it, it can help to focus yeah. you. Cause so to stop doing the language butterfly mm -hmm. thing and, and fly floating from language to language. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I think um, with this juggling thing, for me, it comes down to planning again. You mm -hmm. know, it's saying Monday, Wednesday, Friday, this language, mm -hmm. Tuesday, Thursday, that language, moving things mm -hmm. around, get into some kind of rhythm where it starts to become mm -hmm. integrated and also quite natural to mm -hmm. know those languages. The other thing I'd say though is that, I mean, Richard, I think you're in quite a unique position that you use so many languages at the same mm -hmm. time for your work. Mm -hmm. I personally am not in that position. I, I never need to use more than mm -hmm. maybe three, maximum mm -hmm. five languages in mm -hmm. one day or even a week. Mm -hmm. You know, so I'm quite happy with the idea of some languages mm -hmm. retreating a bit mm -hmm. in my head, bringing others forward as I need them, and then when I go to the country, when I meet someone, when I need to bring them back, mm -hmm. I can do that. And I find it's not quite that I'm forgetting a language; mm -hmm. it's just that it's going a little bit more dormant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you get out of practice basically. Yeah, yeah. but it yeah. doesn't take long no, to bring if it. If it works out. for you, then then yeah. it's perfect. Like we're not mm -hmm. in competition. Like when I when I hear these stories, it's just sometimes it might seem that a person who tries to learn too many languages is. Uh, it's like one of the ways to get to get famous, to get recognition. Yeah, it's, it's like. I mean, I'm not saying that every language enthusiast is like that. But I mean, yeah. the, the reality is actually yeah. you don't you don't win any prizes for right. for, for learning multiple languages. It's you do exactly. it out of passion. Mm -hmm. It's a lifestyle choice. Yeah. It's yeah. 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 if we talk about the economic aspect of it, like the, one of the highest paid profession in the industry is like simultaneous interpretation, and normally. People who are good at you know, doing simultaneous interpretation, they they, 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 they won't have like three, yeah. four working languages, no. and they make a good living. Yeah, yeah. So it's I mean, important to keep that in mind too. Yeah. I mean, I I find that you know, like you say, I've got quite a few home languages, so we speak mm -hmm. five languages at home, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then outside there'll be another four or five that I'd use on a daily basis, mm -hmm. I'd say, and then um, for work, then maybe another five or six, I don't know, and then I'll I'll study. But like, exactly mm -hmm. like you said, mm -hmm. there are some languages that I recognise, mm -hmm. okay, they may be similar to other languages I use on a daily basis, so therefore, mm -hmm. when I'm speaking the other languages, I actually think about yeah. the ones I'm not using, yeah. and that helps to sort of keep them in my head. Mm -hmm. But I, I may get rusty, and, and then you go back to the country, you hear the language, and you're sort of in that environment again, or, or you, you meet someone from the country, and you listen to it for a few hours, and mm -hmm. you suddenly start getting back into it. Which is still really, you're yeah. like a machine. Yeah, exactly. I mean, mm -hmm. and it's not the end of the world. I mean, if you if you get rusty, yeah. a language mm -hmm. is, uh, as I say, you don't win anything for doing this. It's mm -hmm. like you, <laughs> you, and, and we are all human. So, like, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm.